morning, brothers and sisters. Thank God you for this glorious, glorious seven-day Sabbath. Oh Lord, in the natural world, do I have to do I have to go through this again with y'all? What the true Sabbath is? Do I? I Okay then, all right, don't start nothing. This is a foreshadow. The real thing is what? Accepting God in your life. Huh? That new creature. Huh? I'm resting on God's day. What's God's day? The day of what? Huh? The day of what? Sacrifice. Human sacrifice? What is God? Same day? All day? In what? In the word of God? That's the true Sabbath. I'm resting from what? The old man, the old woman, their way, the works that they work. Huh? Huh? The works that came from the pits of hell, from the enemy of God. Huh? Huh? And we created old things in the natural. All this mess and junk here ain't worth five cents. Huh? We resting from what? We we resting from that. We resting there, what? On God's day. Huh? See? In the creation. God day. Everything he made. God day. Rest day. Huh? From what? From that which we made when we what? Went rogue or what? Became a sinner. Huh? Huh? To our Heavenly Father, towards our Heavenly Father. So we out of that now. We out of that. See, so every day is a what? A completion, same day Sabbath. That's the way it is. That's the way it is. See? That foreshadow, it don't, hey, it's nice to hold on to if you want to get to where you got to get to. I, I understand if you got a little bit going on there, hey, that's all right. That's good. I ain't gonna say, hey, you know, don't try. You know what I mean? But that ain't guarantee your place in the kingdom of God. It ain't. A lot of these, huh, foreshadowed people out here got stuck in the mud in their foreshadowness and think they're going to make it in. Ain't going to make it in. A lot of these first day people ain't going to make it in. All denominations throughout all the planet Earth, huh, that don't guarantee you nothing. The universal church, all the in, in the natural, foreshadow, huh? Of the real thing. You gotta cross over into what? Everybody say, the real thing. God's true and real intent, what he meant and what he said. That's what I'm talking about. Listen, listen, listen. I'm so glad Jesus lifted me. I'm so glad, yeah, Jesus lifted me. I'm so glad that Jesus lifted me. Singing glory, hallelujah, lifted me. Oh, when I was in darkness, oh, Jesus brought me out oh when i was in darkness yeah jesus brought me out when i was in darkness oh jesus brought me out singing in hallelujah jesus brought me can i get a little high oh when i was in darkness Oh, Jesus brought me out. Oh, when I was in darkness. Oh, Jesus brought me out. When I was in darkness. Oh, Jesus brought me out. Singing. Come on, y'all. Yeah, singing. Oh, yeah, singing. Well, Brought me out, oh yeah, hallelujah, glory, hallelujah, amen, 
I tell you, man, God is just good all the time. All right, now. Let us go into the house of the Lord by his word. Amen. That our strength may be renewed in the teachings and doctrines of Almighty God. Amen. Glad to be with you all this morning. It's a blessed day. Amen. Amen. Come on. Is it a blessing? It's blessed to be as my wife always on top soil. Huh? So I'm glad to be here. See? So I can praise God. I can't praise him in the grave. Amen. I can't praise him in the grave. I can't praise God sometimes and sometimes don't. No, 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 no. I praise him when it's good. I praise him when it's bad. Try to praise him all the day long. Amen. Thank the Lord. I'm going to go all strip this morning. You know, you know what I mean? But yet, I'm going to be on point in the word of the Lord. I want to talk to my brothers that are locked up behind behind bars, behind institutional confinement, doing time. I want to talk to my brothers. I want, to, I want to encourage your hearts this morning. Encourage your hearts this morning. That even though it seems like you are locked up, but you're not locked out. What do I mean by that? You're not locked out from God. God recognizes you just like He recognizes many others that are not in the predicament that most of you are in. Amen? See? So when I say most of you, I mean, I know some is physical, locked up to the point, uh, they don't have the, the uh, they don't have the privilege that most of them that's doing their time that uh, they have as far as being trustee or able to go in and out the gate without permission, you know, uh, but yet still within the uh, the confinements of doing their time and so forth and so on. I want to get right in deep in the, into the, dung, the dungeon down there, you know, one down there, the ones that then, uh, what they call, uh, 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 what they call it, uh, you call it a uh, C building, F building. Some kind of building out there, prison within a prison, you know what I mean? I want to get down to where they are, you know. I want to get down to where they are. I'm going to pass them on to have more privilege than they do as well, you know. So I come to let you know that, that God is still God. And God have heard your prayers, brothers and sisters. What I mean, sister, they mean they got institutional confinement for women all over the state of Virginia. Amen. So I'm talking to all those that are somewhat in confinement, you know, being confined in such small places, unable to have the privilege and the freedom of most. Like I have today. I'm able to go in and out of my door. I'm able to go to my icebox and pick and choose what I want to eat. That's a privilege. And that's a blessing from God. Being where I have come from, because I too was in confinement. Physical, in the natural, like you are. 
And I didn't really actually get my freedom until I met Jesus where I work, right there in Confound. And some of you brothers understand what I'm talking about because you too have been freed. Even though you're still locked up, you've been free from prison of sin. See, thank God. So I know this, you know this. See, and God knows you and your heart. So I, I, I'm here to let you know that Jesus is getting ready to call it a day. See, he's getting ready to close this and shut this day down. See. And what day I'm, I'm talking about, the day of, of wickedness, the day of the enemy of God and God's people. He gritted to shut it down. And he has already started. So he's on his last end of shutting this whole system down in planet and on planet Earth. Shut it down. So when he comes, he might just come when you are in physical confinement. But thanks be to God that God, that you allow God to come to you where you were and in the shape that you was in with a desire to come in and change your life. The old way. The old man. The old from the old woman. Until this new creature that God has what? Has, 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 has blessed us to become through what? Through the word of his holy scripture. And said his word was made flesh. See? And it was housed in flesh form. It was given a name, Jesus. A common name down here on planet earth. But in the eyes of God, God with us. Uh, we thank God for that. I'm thankful. Oh, I'm more than thankful. We got to be more than just thankful. We got to get out there and show it in our lifestyle, in our conversation, one day after another, every day, until we work, until we work, until God calls us to our next step. See? So I want to let you know that God is still out here with somebody speaking on what need to be spoke on in such a, a grave time in which we live in. In perilous times. This is dangerous times. For the soul of mankind. We got to choose today. Who will we serve? Who will we believe? Would it be God or would it be Satan, the enemy of God? We got to make a choice. That is in our hands. That's in our power to do just that. That's what makes us like gods with a small g. We have that right given to us from God with the big G. And he made it so that nobody can what? Take that decision that you make from you against your free will. No, not even him. But he did say he would do all he can. He would give all he can, even himself, for them that what? Will hear the word of Almighty God and accept the word of Almighty God in their life that they may what inherit eternal life a new life and he have been faithful 
and truthful ever since we with, have become in contact with his word. See? So I want to let you know that the reason why you still locked up in the sense of being locked up behind physical bars because out here we're not doing what we are supposed to do in God. Some of us, not all of us, but some of us, see, because we are not crying out and crying aloud, aloud, see, making noise, see, presenting Jesus Christ, the Word of God, to what? A sin sick world. Those that have got it wrong and continue to lay in the muck in the mouth. In that sin. See? So the blame is on us. The one that's supposed to know better. See? It's on us. See? Because I know that you, my brothers and my sisters, behind those bars, you're doing all you can or possibly can do. With your finite, finite understanding to get out. And it come to the point every day you be growing more and more and more, leaning to God, listening to God, serving God right where you are, right there, presenting God, and at the same time, saying these same words that Joseph said when he was put in prison for something that he didn't do. For Joseph said unto the, unto the uh, butler, when you are reinstated back to your position in Pharaoh, when you get out, remember me. Speak kindly of me. Remember me. See, many have come behind those bars where you are. And you have told them, when you leave, speak kindly of me. Remember me. Get me out of here. I don't want to be here. For something that I didn't do. And even though they have done what they say they have done. And you have given your life to God. You have repented and found forgiveness with God. Huh? The all of man. The whole of man. The flesh. They want to what? Get out. You want to get out. See? You feel remorse. You feel repentance, repenting of what you've done. And if God can forgive you, and if God can forgive me, and if God can forgive us, and if God can forgive the president and all these other wicked people for a moment, he can surely forgive one that's locked up for something they did do. And if God forgive, then what God, God will reinstate you what? Back in what? His goodness. Step by step. So the first goodness that you holler for is what? I want to get out. Be with my family. Just be out. Be in what they call the, the real world. I know this. I realize this. So that's why I continue to, I'm a part of that, that right there. That part of my life, of my memory. I can't just let it go. I can't just act like because I've been through and came out, God brought me out, that there that, that is no more. No, no, no. I got to remember him, them that's back there. So I can tell the world that God has forgiven them. Because of their free will to come to know him and the power of his resurrection. My brothers and my sisters are back there. If God can forgive, then we out here as a society should be able to do what? Forgive as well. And the reason why we don't forgive, because we ourselves are still what? In prison and locked up just as 
much is they are. Not only physical, but spiritually. Oh, hallelujah. Glory be to God. But I'm here to let you know that Jesus is he's on his way to shut things down. And he said, shall I find faith when I come? In other words, shall I find those that are holding on to faith? For I am the faith giver. And if you don't get your faith from the faith giver today, when he comes, you can't receive it. You can't receive it. It's over with. So he said, would I find those that believe and trust him in God? Huh? For faith cometh. See? By the word of God. Hmm? You got to get it now. So I don't want my brothers and my sisters back there looking out here, looking for somebody, you know what I mean, say, hey, set me free, and they ain't working in faith, because guess what? They can't help you. But you keep with Jesus, the faith giver. And it said that he can what? He can take and move their hearts, the evil, wicked one, any way he wants to. And has so what? They wouldn't even know it, but guess what? They bringing you out of that prison here. They be the very one to bring you, sign that parole office, parole or paper, that document, or, 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 or just literally give you clemency or whatever. Huh? But the thing is that what? You see, you got to continue to what? Hold on! No, I won't hold on. Just grab it and bring it to you and just put it in your bosom. Don't hold on. Ain't nobody holding on no more. You either or you are. That's it. You got to grab G. You got to grab him like you know that you want him. Don't hold on. Because if you hold on, you, they tell you what? You can always what? Drop it. You can drop the ball. But you, you, if you grab it and put that thing in your bosom, shoot. You ain't gonna drop that kind. Of, you ain't gonna drop that any kind of way. So how do I hold on, Brother Max Wayne? How do I just grab Jesus? And hold on. That's what, what I mean. You eat this every day. You grow in it, huh? The knowledge of Almighty God every day. You eat. You never get full, huh? Your soul becomes thirsty for righteousness and justice and holiness. And that which is good. I ain't holding on no more. I'm grabbing. And when I grab it, I'm going to put a bear hug on that bad boy. And I'm going to keep it with the power of God. And that is what it is. What, what is that? The teaching and the doctrine of Almighty God. Why? Because it is a what? It's a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my pathway. Oh, glory be to God. I know I'm saying something here now. Yet not me, but God in me. Thank you, Father. That's for me, too. So don't give up, my, my brothers and my sisters back there. Don't give up. See? See? Your deliverance is on the way. It's on the way. And how do you know that it's on the way? Because everything that God has shown you in this book here, he has told you about, you see it happening well, out here on what you call the free will. Huh? The kingdom of God is what? It's rising up out here. Can you see it? Look at the deprivation. Look at the look look, look at all the, the, the hellish things that's going on around and unto those that what? Those that are, are, are outside of what? The, the, the teachings and doctrine of Almighty God. They think they got it going on. All you gotta do is look. Look and see. They ain't all that. It gets worse and worse and worse. God said what? They're mad. They, 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 what God said? God said what? 
the, uh, the thought of man is evil continuously. Why? Because they have chose not what? To serve God. To hear God's voice. To read God's word. To believe and accept the faith giver. For faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Jesus said what? Eat these words, drink these words, signifying what? Life and sustaining of the spirit within you unto God. Do that. They chose not to eat, not to drink. This word here, he said, for my word is what? A spirit. My word is what? Life. They chose not to, but you have. So you can see, ain't nothing going on out here, my brothers and my sisters. Oh, yes, you want to be out here. And some of you won't come out of here before Jesus come. I know that. But I want to let you know, when you get out here, but I want you to see it before you get out of here. Ain't nothing going on here. Anytime those that call themselves righteous and holy and just and call themselves, I'm, I, I believe in democracy. I believe in uh, uh, the democratic process. And we are, we are, we, we are the country of the republic. Huh? I mean, this country run what? Collectively. We don't have a king. See? We do things what? The democratic way. By voting and so far on. The people run. That's a lie. That's a forest. Huh? That's just like that lie the devil told the woman, you shall not surely die. But I tell you what, where is Eve at today as we know in the flesh? No more. God said the soul that, that the soul that what? Sin against me what? Shall die. That's what God said. God also said what? God so said this right here. He said, don't be afraid of the enemy that can kill the body, but you be afraid of him that can kill what? Both the body and the soul. Can't nobody do that but God. That's what we ought to be afraid of. See? They don't have that power to kill this, the body and the soul. Mm -mm. That, that's that's only, to, only God can do that. But he do have the authority from God. He can maneuver whatever he wants to get, to get rid of this battle. He can play this battle, especially when the battle is what? It's on his turf. In his, in his, uh, in his, uh, 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 his, his, his family, the devil. See? But once you, once you come out of it, once you decide to come out of that, his family, oh man, God gonna heal this whole thing up here. That's another, another, uh, another story. Another book. When God saved you, he don't want to heal your spirit. He don't work on that. Oh, he work on the outside too. Some of you running around here sick because what? You speak in sickness. You speak in sickness. Power's in the tongue. See, whatever the tongue speak, that's what you're going to become. See, that ain't God's fault. That's your fault. God should speak those things that be not as if they were. were. Are you speaking that? Are you speaking sickness to you to the, to your body and serving God on God's turf? Huh? Then you ought to be made be made whole. Come on. See? Now some sickness ain't unto death. See? But Jesus said, ask of me whatsoever. And I'll do it. Because he knows receiving your sight is very important to you. So he's going to do that for you. If you will believe. You got to believe. That's where that faith comes from. And come in. By believing. See. God wants you to ask. But don't ask amiss. Ask what? In faith. See? I'm all over the place this morning here trying, 
Try to try to what? Let you know that hey, we ain't we ain't beating the air. This ain't no curriculum curriculum program for us. This is for our life. And our life is hid in Jesus Christ. Not the world. Not in this earth of what they call mock democracy. Two face, fault tongue, bunch of lies. Come on, brothers. We can speak this thing. So if you see out here what's going on, then what are we to do? Huh? We are the what? We are the what? Sound the alarm. Not sound it in the way to say, hey, I'm pointing fingers at the president. I'm pointing, I'm pointing fingers at the Congress. I'm pointing fingers at all. No, no. For pointing fingers at the devil. Him that what? Deceive the whole world. That's in Revelation. It said, he deceived the whole world. How do we point the finger? We do good. When somebody come up and try to make us a, I mean, I'll try to uh, 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 fool us or deceive us to do anything else but good. Huh? We ought to be like fire. Because they are water. And fire and water what? Cannot mix. Light and darkness cannot what? Mix. They cannot exist together. We got to sound the alarm. And how do we do that? In our lives with Jesus. So now you think by going out there and pointing fingers and where well, the president this and the, and the Congress this and the white man that and the black man over oh, here this and the yellow man, no, 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 no. It's sin. See? The Bible said what? Well, this is a spiritual warfare. This is between God and Satan. You're right there in the midst. We have to choose which side we're going to be on. When you choose we say you're going to be on, if you're going to be on God's side, then you ready for what? The spiritual warfare. Yet not your fight, but whom? God's fight. But he got what? He used it through you and in you. Huh? See? That it might be well with you. And others, what? And be a blessing to what? All those around you. Save and unsaved. If so, they listen. See? If they hear, faith coming by what? Hearing. Hearing by what? The word of God. They got to what? Believe. It's impossible to please God without what? Faith. It's in the Bible. You got to believe. And if you believe, guess what? You got to obey. That, that, that come right along with it. That's what it's all about. Heal. You can't just hear something just to hear it and then you don't do anything about it. You ain't heard it then. You just ain't heard it. But when you hear, you do what it says. You follow through. Once you follow through, that tell me how much what? That tell God what? How much you believe. We can do this thing. And most of us are doing this thing. Because a lot of us don't hear the word being preached all. It, it, it don't mean that it ain't. God said he got some that have not what? Bow the knee to Bela. The chief what? Devil. Satan. Lucifer. His boys. So when you get finished hearing old brother Mac, when I go to the grave, if I go, I might come and might go when Jesus come and pick me up. Amen. But as long as I'm in this flesh here preaching, whatever, you're gonna learn something about the devil and demonic forces and spirits. See, you will learn if you if you if you stay long enough, you're gonna hear you gonna hear that you're gonna hear something about it, that you'll know who and what's going on. It's gonna be, I'm gonna put this in, not me, but God, because have me to say so much. 
It's going to be that them song you listen to. going to be sung into your spirit. Then one day you're going to say, oh, that's the devil. And you're going to say, how I know that? Oh, yeah, because this brother here told me that because God told me. See, that, that's what I'm talking about. So we're talking about. When you get so that you can't acknowledge things for what it is, you got trouble. When you get so you can't acknowledge because you think you might hurt somebody's feeling, huh? And this is gonna put you in a, in the lane of denial. You are gonna be denying everything. You're in trouble, brothers and sisters. See? Did you know they got a physical already down here? Say what? Well, uh, what? Well, if you don't say anything, that means you cons that shows your what your consent is all right. Go ahead and do it. And that was so many so-called people, they think of God. That's what they have done. They have held their silence on things that they know is wrong and from the pits of hell and it ain't from God. They said, well, Lord, I didn't say anything. Now, that won't mean, Lord. Lord said, yeah, but you had the opportunity to say something. You had the position that you had to say something and to do something. And that's the same thing going to happen to all these ones here that got these brothers and sisters down here locked up behind bars and stuff, and you know they, if they did it, they should have been out because of what? Everything they have shown to show what? The wrong remorse and repentance. See, but you still playing in what? You still playing the game, the three mile game. Where is it at? Where the little P at? Playing with these guys' lives, with these women's lives locked up. And you know, and you look at the record, and they've been there 10, 15, 20, something, 30, 40, 50 years. Ever since they were what? A child almost. And you still playing the books on them. You still got it on the stock market. Stock market what? Go down. Oh, I got to put more of them in the prison. Then the stock market goes up. And then when you see it slide now they're in the prison. I got a quota, and we can't let too many out. Yeah, but they change. Yeah, I know, I know, but, but this right here, they, they tell us how to do this. This is how we keep our yachts and our homes and our, and our, and our, and our, and our freedom and, and all this other. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. See, that's what's going on, brothers and sisters are back there. So that's why I tell you right now, Jesus is coming sooner than you think. All you got to do is just look through your Bible and see what's going on out here in, the, in, the, in this cave out here. <laughs> Cause that's all real. And Revelation said what? It said, it said what? Evil, wicked spirits, devils, dragons. Well, it didn't say locked up. It said where? Out here. Every evil, filthy bird. Out here. That's what you see. And God said, when you start seeing all this stuff here, where the, come on. Know ye what? The date, the time is what? It's near. And he told us that thousand, thousand of years ago. We're closer now than ever before and Jesus come. He can come any time now. He said, be ye what? Prepare. Be ye what? Watchful. Watch and what? Pray. Why? Because you don't know when I might come. I'll be like a thief in the night. You don't know when I'm going to break in your house. You know, a lot of people don't want Jesus to come, and they know he's coming, but they don't want him to come. You know why they don't want him to come? Because they ain't ready. He will set, upset their plans. See, because see, they already planned out how to get their next million dollars in five days or seven days. See? See? And don't think they, know, don't, they don't know how to pray. See? Oh, yeah, they know how to pray, too. They be praying, Lord, please don't come right now because I got, I, I, I still love this down here. And I, I got, I got to get this right here. I, I want to get my house. I got my house coming. I got my car coming. I got everything coming. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. So you watch them one time. Oh, Lord, come, Lord, come, Lord, you come watch it. See, even in that kind of prayer, they still what? They still, uh, 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 they still, uh, uh, what you call it? Uh, 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 uh. It's not envy, but uh, it's, it's, you know, they, they're still selfish. They're selfish. See? 
I would, why would you want God to come in? And you got all these people out here, man, that's going to hell. And, 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 and as long as God don't come, they got an opportunity to what? To change and give their life to God and inherit eternal life, just like you. No, I don't want, I don't want Jesus to come right now. Because I got brothers and I got sisters, I got cousins, I got nephews, I got nieces, I got daughters, I got sons, I got, I got people, man, I want to be saved when Jesus comes. I'm not going to be selfish. God, you come when you want to come. That's why God didn't give it to us when he's going to come. He didn't give us a date, time, and, and, and place. He said, be ye what? Ready. Even Jesus said what? Nobody know when my father is going to call the end that this is it. Nobody. He said, now what? Not even the angels in hell. Not even me. Come on. So let's not pray a selfish prayer. Prayer. Get in line with the Holy Ghost, the power of God, by the word of God. See? And ask God to give you his love in your spirit. So you can love that God. You can love these people out here. Even though they might not be, some of them might not be lovable, lovable, but you can love them by what? The love of Jesus out here. Stop thinking about yourself all the time. Think about somebody else. So my brothers and sisters, once again, Jesus haven't forgotten you. You just keep holding up the battle for Jesus. You don't have to protest. You don't have to say all this stuff. All you have to do is live Jesus. And live in Jesus, you're going to what? You're going to protest. Why? Because there's no change without what? A protest. Your life will be a protest. A protest to all evil and wickedness. From that. White House to the Our House. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I know I'm right about it. I know I'm right about it. And brothers and sisters, this is time we need to get in this book here and never let it go. This book here, you think you know all? You think you know everything? Hmm. I had a book in my hand about going on 40 years. I don't know. I don't know. Do what? Thanks to God, I know what I do know. But I ain't got it where I can just close this book and forget this and no, no. I got to still keep on reading. God says, study to show yourself what? Approved. See? In other words, you study to show yourself that you are worthy of what God has to give us through the promises that he has made toward us because of him. See? But if you ain't in this, you ain't doing what God said, do this, so you're not worthy. As a matter of fact, never, we never be good worthy. It's all God. If we for God in our spirit, teaching and leading and guiding us, guess what? We wouldn't have what we have right now. See? God is worthy. God is worthy. Excuse me. And by our faith, believing, obeying, obedience in him, then we share in that worthiness because of him. Brothers and sisters, let me let you go. But I just want to throw that out there to you, let you know what's going on out here. Amen. 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 I ain't saying nobody lay down and stop doing what you're doing when you're trying to get out there. Stop your court case. I ain't saying all that. But what I'm saying, get Jesus first and all these things will be added unto you. He'll show you how to fight the spiritual warfare out here. See? He'll show you how to pull down strongholds of the devil out here. See? Amen. You stick with Jesus. And guess what? He will stick with you. Amen. Pray the Lord. Thank the Lord for everything. Thank God for the opportunity to be able to share with my brothers and sisters, Lord, out here, amen, in the flesh. 
Lord, praying continuously for those that believe, trust, and honor your word, and they will continue to just stay, stay there, grab you like they grab a, 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 something they, they love, they want, they desire. In your name, Father, thank you. Thank you for everything. Amen. God bless you.